Hi everyone, Jess here, and today I'm joined with Paul Mills. Thank you so much for taking the time to speak with me today. Thanks for having me, appreciate it. Absolutely. So firstly, how are we seeing passenger expectations changing, and what do you think are the key drivers of this? Yeah, so I think there's like maybe two things that are really interesting right now. Um, first one being digital experiences. So I think yeah, customers, what we see is that customers are used to like, you know, the fantastic sort of digital experience they can have at home with, with the way they use their, their mobile apps or the way they you know, use their smart TVs and uh, things like that. And they kind of expect the same when they come on board. Um, and so the, you know, the challenge for airlines is um, like, how, how, do they, how, how do we kind of like make sure we're meeting customers' expectations there? And I think a lot of airlines have a lot of uh, catching up to do in that area. But things like um, you know, what the expectations that we think customers have of our mobile app, you know, we've done a lot of work like bringing that up to date. Um, and another good example with, with, um, with in-flight entertainment on board. Uh, I think customers kind of expect to be able to connect to the Wi-Fi you know, really easily. Um, sometimes that's not always the case. Um, and when they're enjoying the IFE, like they expect it to be uh, as good as their smart TV at home, you know, on their streaming platform. So big challenge there, um, and, um, but, but yeah, great opportunity as well. Um, and then the other one for me is, um, I think the extent to which like, customers are, are much more considerate about what they consume on board. So that you know, our, what we see is that our customers are really interested in sustainability, really interested in health and wellness. And so what that means for us is that we've had to really th rethink you know, what we've been doing for, you know, for years and years with making sure that what we're putting on board is as sustainable as possible and that we've got um, more options on board um, for customers who want to, want to you know, choose a meal or, or a drink that sort of promotes health and wellness as well. Absolutely. And, and just touching on your first point, you, you said the, the onboard experience is a lot about trying to bring the comforts of being at home, being on the ground. Is that something we're really striving towards or are we trying to create a sort of a different space for it? So that plus what you can offer as an airline? I mean, I think the, I think the, the air travel experience is, is never going to be exactly like home. Like it's, it's just not, you know, you're sat in a, a seat, which is nothing like what you have at home. So I guess like in, in that respect, it's, um, it's never going to be exactly like home. But it's the expectations. I think yeah, customers are expecting things to work. Like um, they're expecting um, the same sort of functionality that you might have on like your your smart TV, with the way you sort of you know skip or like look at the next ten seconds or you know, trigger next episode, things like that. That sort of um, capability is what customers expect on board with the IFE. So that's the challenge to, to to meet those expectations. Absolutely. And and picking back up on the sustainability side of things. Can you tell me a little bit more about how you guys are, are making your in-flight experience more sustainable? Um, yeah, gosh, there's like so many things and it's, it's really like you know, our biggest priority. Um, so we, we, we look at um, what we're putting on board, trying to make sure it has a really low carbon footprint. You know, so we're not sort of, sort of you know, shipping stuff from you know, miles away. We try to buy local when we can. Um, we try to remove single-use plastic, so we got rid of um, over 90% of the single-use plastic on board. Um, but there's still a few stragglers there, so um, that's one of the priorities to try to try to get rid of as much of that as possible. And then just just generally like what we're sourcing, making sure that it has like um, it's, it's products that are having a good impact on you know, communities, um, on, on on animals, and on, on the environment. Fantastic. And looking ahead now, sort of say five, ten, maybe more years into the future. What are we looking for in terms of the in-flight experience? Like, what, what can we expect and what are the foundations that we need to be laying now so we can enable that in the future? Yeah, so I think the, I mean the, 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 I think the future is, is probably sort of, you know, the two things that really stand out to me, like the, the two things which I've, which I've just spoken about, the, the trends that we're seeing. And I think that's just going to get even bigger. So like the, the use of sort of digital tools and AI, like in the, in the in-flight experience or in, in the whole passenger journey, um, but in in-flight as well, I think that would be really interesting. So. Um, yeah, for example, in our lounges, um, we recently kind of brought in in the last few years the ability to you know, order using like an app. So you, you kind of scan a QR code and order, like you do in restaurants. But that's quite a big change. You know, before that, it used to be just um, just table service. You know, you'd ask the, the, the staff and they, they'd bring you what, uh, what, what you wanted. Um, and I think that's super interesting. It's, um, got, it's a very sort of powerful tool. Um, and um, yeah, really interested to see like um, in the future, like where else that's going to show up you know, for the rest of the journey. Um, and then um, the other thing for me is, um, yeah, just I think in the future, like the, the experience on board is just going to be even more sustainable than it is today. You know, through things like um, basically just like um, you know, reducing waste, so making sure that um, we're not putting stuff on the on the plane which which isn't consumed, and then anything that is left um, that is, is recycled. Um, so I think um, I think uh, that the future in-flight experience is going to be much more sustainable than it is today. That's really great to hear. Yeah. And what about Aviation Festival Americas? How do events like this help to drive innovation in the industry? Well, I think um, what's really interesting about events like this for me is, um, is the opportunity to meet all these different suppliers. 
because um, I think um, it's it's those sort of chance encounters. It's like um, like I'll, I'll wander around here, and there'll be people who I who I don't know, haven't heard of, and you just start talking to them, and um, and they have a perspective, or there's something that they offer, um, which you know could be super valuable for you know, for us and for our, for our customers. So that's probably the best thing for me. Absolutely. Well, thank you for joining me today to share your insights. Welcome. Thank you.